Anybody out there? It's Leslie Rogowski, creative director for The Beadsmith, playing with super duos and symbol metal fashion elements today. Just wondering if anybody's joining me. I've been playing with different ways to make these straps. Uh, which are really really fun and I'm using two different kinds of the symbol metal fashion fashion elements for super duos so just kind of hang out and give people a chance to tune in hello Leslie Pope my partner in crime at the beadsmith so uh, while we're waiting for some people to come on in um, this necklace was on display in Tucson, if you were able to make the Mecca out there. Hi Janine, nice to hear from you. Welcome yes. on this Wednesday afternoon in New Jersey. Anyway, this necklace that I made using the symbol fashion elements, I used substitutes, you can see in there the silver. I use silver in this. And then I also have side elements, which are here behind my finger with the little black bead. That's actually one component. I'll show it to you in gold. So you can see, and it just nestles in so nice in between the super duos. So it really helps to um, give me a bridge when I sew from super duo to super duo in this. Now, I'm saying super duos because these were designed for specifically for super duos, but these symbol elements, have, which have been designed for lots of other bead shapes, uh, I have been exploring along with all the designers who have been able to get their hands on these. Um, and shops and things in using them with other beads besides the ones that they were originally labeled for. So for instance, these Super Duo related uh, symbol elements will go with kite beads and they'll go with gem duos and they'll go with seed beads. And so it's just really, really versatile. Anyway, I don't like when my pendants have spindly straps. So I did a pendant in these colors and I'm going to show you how I use a crisscross two needle effect to make the strap. Um, but this particular one, the other one was um, crystal bronze, pale gold and matte black and silver. So the new sample that I'm making, I'm using Maria, which is just this gorgeous kind of rainbow effect of Super Duo, and the Crystal Bronze Pale Gold. This, this matte color just plays up so nice with, uh, with the shiny beads. Oh, grazie. Grazie, Madeleine. Grazie. She's saying molto better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's the extent of my Italian, by the way. <laughs> Other than ravioli and Chianti. How's that? <laughs> okay. So I've started my strap in this one. And you can see I have two threads coming out. So I'm going to start from the beginning and take you through a little bit of this. The threads crisscross. Now, do you have to use two needles? No, but it's way easier when you do this because you don't have to fiddle around and make a new thread path to come back. Hi, Cora, how are you? Cora has been doing some fabulous things with our symbol metal fashion elements and we're gonna be sharing them on the Beadsmith page soon enough. But how about if we get started on what I said I was gonna do with you guys? today. So along with the two colors of Super Duos, I have two different metal symbol fashion elements. I have a bead substitute, which is meant to be used 
in place of a glass Super Duo. And I have the little side beads that I showed you just before. And the side beads and the substitutes have two holes. There's the substitute, you can see the two holes and it'll sit like this along the side. And my substitute, which is called Veridi, has this lovely texture. I don't know if you can see that or how blurry it'll get. Look at that. The cool thing about bringing metal into your work is how much it enriches it. As lovely as your beading is, it's gonna look just so much more luxe with either the gold plated or the silver plated. And I don't have them to show you, but we have two new medals for the symbols. We have rose gold. I can hear everybody going, oh yes, rose gold. And antique brass, which floats my boat. Hello, Doris. Nice of you to join us. Cora's saying she loves those symbols. Yes, indeed. All right, so a little bit of a tutorial for the strap now, if everybody's ready. I have a piece of thread and um, I'll tell you, right now I have about maybe 25 inches of thread. A needle threaded on each end and strung to the middle, I have three of my Maria Super Duos. So you just pull them to the middle. And then on each of the side super duos, you're going to sew through the open hole towards this middle super duo. So I'm going to sew through that. And now I have my the thread on my left. So I'm going to sew through that. And pull them together. And what you want to have now is a piece, I'm going to lay this down and zoom in for you. So you can see how I have the Super Duo that has an open hole facing down. That's the little drop at the bottom. And now I'm going to add a Super Duo in here. There's the piece I was looking for. So here's where we are. Now I have two threads coming out the middle and I'm going to crisscross through one of the crystal branch pale gold. Now you always want to check, I've pre-checked, you always want to check to make sure any two hold beads, both holes are open. So I have my right thread and I'm going to sew through the gold super duo and out through the open hole of the super duo on the left like this and now I'm going to take the thread that's on the left and I'm going to sew through the gold and come out on the right so you're crisscrossing through be careful when you sew through holes that are already stitched there I'm sorry I was off camera be careful that you don't um, pierce the thread so there's your little end see how easy that was it was just a crisscross through Okay, now we're going to pick up one of our sides, our caparia is the name of it, and I'm going to pick it up, and in order to disguise the thread when I sew back into it, I'm going to pick up a size 11 gold to match the side, and I'm going to sew back into the other hole like this. All right, let's see if you can see this. By the way, just so you know, I am working with my cell phone camera, which is a very little screen that I'm trying to keep everything in focus for you. So here I have the caparia and the little seed bead, and I'm gonna pick up another Super Duo and sew through the open hole of that gold Super Duo. All right, are you with me? Now I'm gonna take the left thread and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna pick up a caparia side 
And you might want to lay it down on your mat so you make sure you're sewing through in the right direction and the right hole. So I'm going to pick that up, pick up an 11, sew through the other hole, pull it in. Now I'm going to pick up another Super Duo in the Maria finish and sew crisscross through the center gold super duo and the maria again but not the side symbol element do you see where my needles coming out above that okay now that i have that left side super duo i can complete the stitch from the right and go through that stitch toll of the Maria Super Duo, but not the symbol. And there you go. So, hi Kelly. The names for, she's, Kelly's asking for the, how the names came about for the symbol findings. They are all places related to Greece. Uh, that's the simple answer. <laughs> so, Wait a minute, somebody said there was a hidden Mickey, Leslie Pope. Of course, you know me so well. Everything has a hidden Mickey in it. <laughs> I'm a Disney World fanatic, people who know me. Now you all know. Hey, Michelle, one of our inspira another of our Inspiration Squad members, Cora and Leslie Pope are also Inspiration Squad members. Yes, the manufacturer of the symbols came up with the names for these fashion elements, and they are all names of places in Greece. Thank you very much, Leslie. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do a little more. Now my threads are coming out the side, and I'm going to sew back with each thread to come out in the center. Now in this case, these threads along the side here will be hidden, so don't worry about it. So I'm going to go back in through that. And by the way, I am 90% finished the tutorial for this entire necklace. So woohoo, everybody that saw pictures of it, your wish is my command. Okay, so the threads are coming out in the middle. Now I'm going to crisscross my threads through another Maria Super Duel. So I've picked one up and I'm gonna go through from right to left. And now I'm gonna take my, there we go, my left thread. I'm gonna crisscross through the Super Duo just added and make sure I go all the way through. When you do a crisscross, make sure you complete your stitches. So I'm gonna go through the stitch toll and out the other Super Duo on my right hand side. Okay, now I'm ready to do another bead on the side, but I didn't want to put the caparia right next to each other. I wanted to space them out like I have in my little sample here, because by putting areas of the purple beads in between the gold, this is just a design decision on my part, that it, it makes them pop and it accents it and it gives the piece a little bit more movement than as if I just had gold going straight up the side for everything. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a Maria seed bead, but because I don't want my thread to show, I'm picking up these beautiful metallic plum 11s. So I'm using two colors of 11s in this. So let's see, we're going to pick up a Maria and three 11s in the metallic plum. Remember I said I didn't want to have gold going all the way up the side. So I have the Super Duo there and I'm going to go back through the hole. Cora's saying she likes these colors. Thank you very much. Purple and gold, really royal, right? Okay. Now you see there's a gap here for a Super Duo. I'm going to pick up another Maria and I'm going to sew again. I'm sewing from right to left. And now I'm going to put my thread down, my right thread, and I'm going to repeat what I just did with my left thread. I'm going to pick up 
that super duo and three of the metallic plum size 11s and I'm going to sew back through that hole in the super duo the open hole I'm gonna then I'm going to continue all right pick up my other super duo that goes in that little gap there so everything is mirror everything is the same on both sides and I'm picking up that other super duo now I'm going to go through the center super duo from left to right and I'm going to go through that right hand side super duo through the stitched hole get in there But just like when you did further in the beginning where you don't go through the caparia elements, you're not going to go through those side super duos. Here, look, I see I didn't complete my stitch. Comes from the center, through the new super duo, through the side super duo. So not through the side super duo. My bad. Not through it, not through it. All right. There you go. Now, if you look at my design, I have the crystal bronze pale gold and then a Mary in the center. Now I want to add another gold, but this time I'm going to pick up another symbol element and I'm going to use one of the bead substitutes. So I have to get my threads back into the center. Starting with my right thread, I'm going to go through the open hole of the right hand super duo and now I'm going to pick up my Viridi and I'm going to make sure that I have it face up. So I'm going through the bottom hole and then I'm going to complete my stitch across. Cool. It would be cool if I held it in frame. I'm sorry. Now I'm going to complete the stitch, adding the substitute by going from left to right through the super duo through the Viridi symbol substitute and through the other one, other super duo. So you can see when you finish a stitch, you should have your threads coming out symmetrically on both sides. All right, I see Regina, I see Gisela. Wow, people in Italy watching. This is so cool. So what do, you th what do you think, you guys? I mean, there's a couple things that I've been showing you in this. I've wanted to feature how much fun and elegant and rich it is to bring the symbol metal fashion elements into your work. I wanted to show you two needle weave and a little taste of what the finished pattern is going to be able to show you for the entire necklace which I am calling Viridi Lane Viridi being the name of the symbol super duo substitutes so I would love to hear what you think Facebook live it's a little short example but here you go and you can see again that I have the substitutes in spaced apart. I have the little sides, the caparia running up, and then of course the pendant part will incorporate. You'll incorporate your straps and I'll show you how to do that. They come off to the side so it hangs nice. Anyway, here you have it. The symbol metal fashion elements with super duos and size 11 seed beads. I use Fireline from the Beadsmith, size 10 or 12 needles. You can find these beads, the symbol metal fashion elements, and other quality tools and supplies from the Beadsmith at your favorite bead reseller. So thank you so much for joining me. We love beads. See ya.